California Gardener. Today we're in the backyard picking some of our Roma and Husky tomatoes. They're kind of like the smaller tomatoes I grow and we're going to turn some of them into sun-dried tomatoes with our food dehydrator. So stick around and see how we do that. Okay, welcome to the kitchen part of this show. We have our bowl full of Roma and Husky tomatoes. We're going to use those to make our sun-dried tomatoes in the dehydrator right here. I haven't used this dehydrator before but I've done them in the oven and it works well. Put of like 200, 250 degrees for six to eight hours and they'll uh, dry out very nicely and they taste fabulous. Uh, we're gonna put, sprinkle some olive oil. This is a nice container of misto so you can just spray whatever oil you want and then we'll sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt on them and add some flavor since you're gonna be cooking with them anyways and they're great to eat uh, fresh. Now we're just breaking all the stems off these tomatoes. Give me a final little rinse and uh, then we'll be ready to cut them up. Now when you're looking for tomatoes to make the sun-dried tomatoes, you don't really want to use ones with a bad spot on it since it can turn your uh, sun-dried tomato uh, bad. You don't want it to spoil, so cut off those areas and dry the other part. Since uh, sun-dried tomatoes, you want them to last a long period of time anyways, you don't want them you know, spoiling the whole bunch. So you have to make sure that your tomatoes will fit on the tray. So you kind of look at it, you can split it uh, lengthwise and see if it actually fits on the tray. You just put it down like that, put another tray on top, and see if it will actually fit on. I'm going to fill up this tray and then I'll show you how I put the oil and sprinkle some salt on them. Here's our first tray of Roma tomatoes. They look great. When you spread them out on the dehydrator trays, you don't want to put them too closely because you do need the air to flow uh, to get appropriately uh, dryness in your tomatoes. So first what I do, I just spray a little bit of olive oil on them. That should be good. And then um, I take my little bit of garlic salt and I sprinkle a little bit of that on just to give some flavor. Not that they need it, but it just adds like a little nice little touch to the tomatoes once they're dried. I just have to show you this. I was running out of tomatoes for my last tray, so I went outside, picked some of these tomatoes, and they're beautiful. They're just perfect. Look at them. They're all nice, such a nice shape, round, no blemishes. I believe these are the early girls. Sugar good here in California. There we go, so we have our dehydrated filled with all the tomatoes. They're stacked up five high. I have the lid right here, so we're gonna go ahead, put that lid on, and then um, get it all stacked nicely, make sure it's all stacked well, and then we're already plugged in. So this uh, Wearing Pro dehydrator, it has three settings, low, uh, medium, and high. I'm gonna crank it up to high and see how they're doing in a few hours and then we might turn it down to medium for the rest of the night and in the morning we'll see what they look like. Here we are now, it's uh, 8 in the morning. The following morning I started them at 3 p.m. yesterday. We left them on high heat for about um, 7-8 hours before we went to bed and then we switched it to medium. So now I'm gonna turn it off because it looks like they're done. Well, I'll show you what they look like. So let's take off the top layer and uh, yeah, those look excellent. Check those out. They're all dried up nicely. Those look really nice actually, these ones right here as well. And uh, as you go down, you can see these tomatoes are really dried out nicely and they actually come off the plastic really easily, especially with that uh, um, olive oil spray. You can see they're coming off really nicely. And uh, yeah, all the trays are dried really nicely. So they actually look better than the ones we did in the oven because some of those were burning and these ones, these ones they just dried out really nicely. So if you have lots of tomatoes and you want to make some dried tomatoes, go ahead and put them in your food dehydrator. I just sprinkled some olive oil and garlic salt on them and they taste excellent. So give it a try. Thanks for watching guys. Welcome back to California Gardener. So this is a squash update. Uh, it's been a few weeks now since we planted these squash from seed. Uh, they all are planted about, oh, I don't know, 12 inches apart in this landscaping fabric I have down. It's keeping the soil nice and moist below. There's a little bit of weed growth below, but it, for the most part, looks great to me.